the world between wars 1900 to 1950 part 2 russian socialist revolution tsarist russia was a vast land mass spread over two continents and making it a euro asian power The livelihood of most Russians was derived from agriculture and control over land was the basic cause for struggle between peasants and feudal lords. But the Russian economy was blunt to in the extreme by the world war. The diversion of food to the war front led to the shortage in the cities. On March 8, 1917, around 10000 women of the capital St Petersburg took out a procession demanding peace and bread workers joined them in this protest unnerved at the protest in the capital tsar nicholas ii ordered the army to suppress the demonstrators even by firing at them in just 2 days the situation went to much out of hand that tsar evicted a non aristocratic russian made a provisional government this was the first russian revolution in 1917 and it was called the march revolution a bigger revolution was made later on october 1917 the liberals and the aristocrats who ruled russia after the abdication of tsar decided to continue the war to preserve the honor of the fatherland fatigued by military reverses and upset at economy shortage the common people did not want the war they began organizing themselves in councils which were called soviets which was chancelized by a group of russians communist party called bolsheviks the bolsheviks were led by vladimir lenin bolsheviks were able to win the confidence of the soviets because they took up demand for immediate and unconditional peace nationalization of all land and its redistribution to the peasants and control over prices and nationalization of all factories and banks the soviets under the bolshevik leadership seized power from the provincial government in october november 1917 and immediately took steps to end the wars and redistribute land full peace could not return to russia because there started a civil war led by white armies of russian monarchist and anti-communist soldiers with the help of britain france usa and japan these were all defeated by 1920 the bolsheviks also announced the ending of the russian empire and permitted the various nations under it to become independent however gradually most of the former tsarist empires nations agreed to join the union of soviet socialist republics ussr which was set up in 1924 by which soviet government of russia with this begin a great experiment of building a country with exploiters like feudal lords kings or capitalist rise of stalin after the death of lenin in 1924 stalin emerged as a leader of the communist party he used his undisputed power to build the economy of ussr ussr under the leadership of joseph stalin tried to end small piece in production by forcing all small and large farmers to surrender their lands and join collective farmers farmers worked together and produce was divided among the members of the farms 
the idea was to shift from small holdings farming to large scale farming so that the new techniques and machines could be used after an initial period the decline agriculture production soon arose and helped ussr to also build its industries on an unprecedented scale all industries were owned by the state which did not allow free market and sold the industrial products to the consumers directly an extended schooling system developed and arrangements were made for factory workers and peasants to enter universities creches were established in factories for the children of working women USSR achieved full employment for all its citizens and was able to improve their standard of living substantially precisely during this period the western world began to face the great depression in which factories closed down and millions of workers lost their jobs the USSR prided itself in escaping the impact of great depression however all this could built through an enormous centralization of political power in the hands of communist party all its leaders and denial of ordinary democratic liberties to the citizens and doing away with any opposition through the use of force including large scale execution of opposition leaders the experience of the ussr inspired people all over the world who were committed to the ideas of equality and national liberation a large number of them now became communist and tried for a communist revolution in their countries many of them like emen roy tagore and nehru were inspired by it even though they did not agree with many aspects of communism like suppression of opposition political parties the great depression the great depression began around the end of 1929 and lasted almost till 1939 when the second world war began during this decade there was worldwide economic decline triggered by a decline in demand and fall in prices as many as 25% americans were unemployed and nearly 33% in many other countries as factories closed down and trade declined cities became centers of decline this in turn caused a collapse prices for agricultural produce causing pauperization of millions of farmers and stopping of cultivation this was the longest and most severe economic decline faced by modern economy till today it had devastating social consequences sharply increasing poverty desolation homelessness etc Roosevelt who became the president of US the new deal which promised relief to the victims of depression reform of financial institutions and steps to ensure economic recovery by undertaking large public works however the real break came from the outbreak of war when state expenditure on armies and armaments suddenly increased giving a big boost to factory production and demanded for farm produce he also introduced the much needed social security system in the us it established permanent system of universal retirement pensions unemployment insurance and welfare benefits for the handicapped and needy children in families without father present at the close of the second world war britain too adopted 
extensive social security measures like unemployment doles sickness coverage health schemes child care etc rise of nazism in germany german economy faced severe crisis after the war it as it was saddled with the burden of paying war damages etc so much so that the german government began to print currency notes on a large scale and this resulted in unheard of inflation usa at this stage helped to bail out germany by giving loans and rescheduling the payment of war damages this helped german economy to stabilize by 1928 however this was short lived as usa itself was deeply affected by the onset of the depression in 1929 and could no longer help germany the german economy was the worst hit by the depression by 1932 workers lost their jobs and were paid reduced wages the number of unemployed touched an unprecedented 6 million hitler devised a new style of politics he understood the significance of rituals and spectacle in mass mobilization nazis held massive rallies and public meetings to demonstrate the support for hitler and instill a sense of unity among the people hitler mobilized his followers on the promise of establishing the racial supremacy of aryan germans over the world and by targeting minority communities like jews as the main cause of all problems he appealed specially to the middle class which felt threatened by capitalism and the great depression hitler came to power and immediately took steps to establish an undemocratic and autocratic rule and dismantle all democratic institutions like parliament on 3rd march 1933 the famous enabling act was passed this act established dictatorship in germany it gave hitler all powers to sideline parliament and rule by decree the state established complete control over the economy media army and judiciary these powers were used to arrest and torture millions of political activists trade unionists and people of minority communities and built a state of unprecedented horror and fear hitler signed the responsibility of economic recovery to the economist jalmar skachet who aimed at full production and full employment through a state funded work creation program this project produced the famous german super highways and the people's car the volkswagen this was followed by a heavy investments in armament industries to create future further employment but this could be sustained only by going on war with the neighbors hitler pursued an aggressive foreign policy of recovering the terrorist lost after the first world war then by 1939 he attacked poland and as we saw earlier this was triggered of the second world war under the shadow of the second world war german had waged a genocidal war which resulted in the mass murder of selected groups of innocent civilians of europe nazis devised an unprecedented means of killing people that is by gassing them in various killing centers oschwitz the defeat and end 
the tide of initial victories scored by German armies were turned back after the defeat of German forces in the famous battle of Stalingrad in early 1943. Soviet forces were welcomed all over Eastern Europe and liberatories from the hated Nazi rule and eventually captured Berlin. The capital of Germany, Hitler and his close associate committed suicide to avoid being captured and tried in Far East with bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan surrendered to USA. Many of Nazi generals and leaders were captured and put to trial in the famous Nuremberg trial. The retribution did come, yet the punishment of the Nazis was far short of the brutality and extended of their crimes. The Allies did not want to be as harsh on defeated Germany as they had been after the First World War. The first half of the 20th century ended by the nightmare of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and with the hopes generated by the founding of the UNO. By 1950, countries like India, China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Egypt, Nigeria, etc. became independent. Two new superpowers emerged on the world scene, the USSR and the USA. USSR, which bore the main burnt of Hitler's war and faced enormous destructions, gradually rebuilt its economy. Its victory, however, greatly enhanced its prestige in the world. My video can come in a chinat like a like chindi, share chindi. Elanti Marini videos kosum. My channel is subscribed chess code matra machipokandi. Thank you for watching.